As of March 8, 2022, 14 people have been attacked or bitten by sharks, with two fatal shark attacks being reported around the world. The first shark incident occurred in New South Wales, Australia. A 42-year-old woman was bitten on the thigh, Hymana Beach, New South Wales, Australia. The woman, who chose not to be identified, hit the water around 5.40 a.m. January 4th and was swimming for about 20 minutes when she felt a jolt. She looked down to see an estimated 6-foot, 2-meter bronze whaler below her. Taking inspiration from surfer Mick Fanning, who punched a large aggressive white shark on TV, she quickly punched the shark, sending it swimming away. Despite having 10 puncture wounds on her right inner thigh, she was able to make the estimated 32 yards, or 30 meter, swim back to shore. After being treated by paramedics, she was taken to Shoalhaven Hospital, and after being released, was back in the water the same afternoon. However, she did say that she would stick closer to shore and avoid swimming at dusk and dawn when sharks tend to feed. A teen was bitten in New Zealand January 9th. Alvara King, 13, was swimming with her friends January 9th at Omara Beach. King and her friends were taking turns jumping off Holmes Wharf into Friendly Bay and swimming back to shore. Around 4 p.m., she was floating on her back when a suspected seven-gill shark grabbed her right arm and back. The shark shook King, who tried to pull her arm away from the shark's grip. One of her friends saw the horror and looked for a rock to strike the shark. After what felt like minutes, the shark released its grip and King was able to swim back to the dock. Her rock-scrounging friend extended out her leg and King was able to grab hold and was helped back to the dock. King's mother was alerted and at first thought it was a joke, but then quickly headed to the harbor. She arrived to find her daughter in an ambulance. Alvaro was taken to St. John's Hospital where she received 42 stitches in her right arm and upper back. Broadnose seven-gill sharks are often referred to locally as sea cows as they tend to be docile and a little dopey as they slowly swim through the water. The local council is considering placing signs alerting visitors that sharks do swim in the water. Local biologists also suggest including warnings not to throw or discard fish parts off the wharf where people swim as it attracts sharks. Jack Trendno and his friend Liam were snorkeling off Whalers Beach in western Australia January 22nd when they were both bitten by a Wabagon shark. The duo wanted to climb some rocks while they were snorkeling with Jack's mom in seagrass. Jack's mom said it was okay for the boys to climb on the rocks, and then she heard Jack screaming out. She grabbed her son and went away from the seagrass to look at his wounds. About that time, his friend Liam started screaming. Both young men had minor injuries and have already been back in the water. Wabagons are normally docile, and this one may have been disturbed by Jack and became territorial. Across the globe in Florida, Heather West, 42, was snorkeling at Dry Tortiga when a shark grabbed her foot. West was with several of her friends when the already poor visibility became worse in the rough water. The group decided to go back to shore for a picnic. West was looking at a school of fish when she saw what she thought was seagrass. Her intuition told her to head back to shore. As she turned, something grabbed her foot. At first she thought it was one of her friends playing a prank but when her foot was pulled so forcefully a second time that she was pulled underwater, she realized it was a shark. She kicked the shark with her other leg and began punching it until it released. She screamed for her friends who saw the attack unfold. The visibility was so poor that they could not tell if the shark was gone, but still they headed into the water and helped their friend. She had a serious wound to the top of her foot, and due to the remote location, medical attention was not quick. Her friends carried her inland until they ran across a couple of park rangers who radioed for help. A speedboat was sent, and after a few hours, she was taken to a hospital in Key West. Back in Australia, Jack Shackle, 11, was swimming at Turrameta when a Wabagon shark grabbed his foot. The miner was assisted out of the water and taken to the hospital. In Brazil, an 8-year-old girl lost her leg to a suspected tiger shark. The girl, identified only as Nicole, was accompanied by her father January 28th. Around 10.30 a.m., Nicole was bitten on her thigh. She was taken to the hospital before being transported by air to a hospital in Recife, where her leg was amputated. Thankfully, she survived the incident and was released from the hospital February 1st. A large tiger shark was filmed swimming in the area after the attack, and beaches have been closed to swimmers. Jacqueline Morley, 18, was bitten by a suspected white shark February 5th. The teen drifted into the kelp beds off Esperance, Western Australia, 
when she was bitten on the side. A bull shark attacked a scuba diver February 8th in Costa Rica. The British citizen apparently paid for a dive excursion off Playa del Coco in Costa Rica with a group of family members. During the dive, an estimated 10-foot, 3-meter bull shark grabbed her arm. She was able to fight off the shark but suffered significant injuries to her right arm and left hand. She was taken by private emergency helicopter to a medical center in Santa Ana where she received treatment for the wound. Local sources said the area is known to have several bull sharks that can be quite aggressive. On February 11th, Jean Lopez, 18, was surfing near Cocoa Beach Pier, Florida when he was bitten. Around 5.30 p.m., he was swimming when he felt something grab his foot. He was able to kick the shark off but had several puncture wounds on his foot. Lifeguards bandaged up his appendage and he was taken away by private vehicle. The first fatal shark attack of 2022 occurred on February 12th. Victor Australia, 56, was commercial diving in the Gulf of California when he was attacked by a shark. His dive tender saw that his hoses were moving erratically and began to pull Australia up. Once he pulled him to the surface, he saw a large shark grab and pull on Australia. A tug-of-war began, and eventually he was able to pull Australia into the boat. Unfortunately, he had lost his legs and soon died. In Australia, Simon Nillis, 35, was swimming offshore in deep water February 16th in New South Wales when he was attacked and consumed by a large white shark. The following day, Rodney Forrester was off Brisbane fishing when his boat's fishing nets became tangled. He jumped in the water to clear them and was struck by a 13-foot tiger shark. At first, he did not know he was injured and yelled to his co-workers to pull him in from the water and away from the shark. Thankfully, he was near the back of the boat, and they extracted him quickly. Once he was in the boat, he realized that he had some serious grazes on his leg. On February 21st, a man was collected by the Coast Guard off Bimini after being bitten by a shark. The unidentified man was fishing off the commercial dive vessel, Shearwater, when he hooked a shark. Apparently, the man was reaching for the shark when it grabbed his arm. He was extracted by the U.S. Coast Guard and transported to a hospital in Miami. The vessel, which is known to take guests on paid shark encounters, has been involved in several other shark-related incidents. Another man was bitten by a shark in California. The unidentified man was picked up near San Miguel, but no real information has been released. Scuttlebutt seems to indicate he may have been on a dive vessel or been scuba diving when he was bitten. Another man was hit by a large white shark off Florida Beach near Sydney, Australia, March 8. The unidentified man was uninjured, but did have a shark damaged surfboard. For more information on shark attack bites, check out our 2022 our shark attack map and shark attack list at trackingsharks.com. If you like what we're doing, be sure to subscribe. You can also support us directly at patreon.com slash tracking sharks. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at username tracking sharks. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoy the water out there.